Hi there, this is Jason McConnell, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create some really simple chevron stripes. So the first thing that we'll do is go to the rectangle tool, and I'm going to click on the canvas, and we'll start out by making a 1 inch by 1 inch chevron, but our rectangle is going to be 2 inches by 2 inches. So I'll hit OK. OK, up next I want to get a 1 inch stripe along the top of this here. So there's several ways to do it, but I'll just do an edit copy or command C or control C on Windows. And then an edit paste in front or command F on a Mac, control F on Windows. So that essentially gave us two squares right on top of each other. All right, now I can go ahead and move this stripe up to resize it. And if you have smart guides on, which I don't, actually I do, um, it might snap right into place. But uh, another way to do it is just go to your control bar here and click on transform. I'm going to check my registration point on the left, which is on the top. And I'm also going to make sure that constraint width and height proportions is not checked. Right, I'll change my height here to one inch. And you'll see that it's now perfectly one inch, and I'll give it another color. Okay, now we need to make this uh, rectangle bend in the middle down towards the bottom. Let me zoom in. And I could go around and put points here, but the quickest way is to go to Object, Path, Add Anchor Points. And that's going to add anchor points in the middle of all of my segments. So now I can just take the direct select tool, the white arrow, hold shift and click on the top and bottom points and drag them down. And you'll probably want to hold the shift key so that it drags straight down and not over a little bit. All right, that looks good. Uh, next up, this doesn't really need a repeat box because it's a uh, rectangle. So I'm just gonna take this, drag it into my swatches Zoom out a little bit, and I'll just make another bigger rectangle and fill it. And there you have a simple one inch by one inch chevron stripe. Now let's say that you wanted something a little bigger, like a two inch by two inch. You could take this stripe that we made here, go to your transform panel, let's change the width here to four, and the height to four. And let me move this over a little bit. And then we'll just drag that into our swatches. And then I'll just fill this big rectangle here. And that's a two by two. Now you don't have to make all these different sizes if you're just playing around and you don't have to send this to a factory with a set repeat size. You could just scale this. I'm just going to take the scale tool along with the tilde key, the squiggly key underneath the escape key. And I'm just going to Hold shift as I do it, go inward to make it smaller, hold tilde and shift and click and go out. And I usually go on diagonals to make it bigger. All right, so you can have fun with that. Now, that's just a really simple one. Let's say that we wanted to do something more like this, where it's a little bit tighter. All right, so we have to do something a little bit different. Zoom out a little bit. And I'll just start from scratch again. So I'll delete this. And this time let's make a four inch by four inch square. And we're gonna do a similar thing that we did before, copy and paste in front. Might as well give this one another color first off. And then I'm going to go back up to transform and change the height to one inch. So we have a nice one inch stripe across here. Again, go back up to Object, Path, Add Anchor Points to add those anchor points right in the middle for us. Go to your Direct Select tool and click on these points. I'm holding Shift. And then you just click and drag to the bottom and I'm holding the Shift key again after I start dragging. Okay, now if we just took this the way it is and dragged it in, to our swatches, and then filled our larger rectangle. You'll see that it, 
It might be what you want. You might want this larger stripe in the middle and then a smaller green stripe. But if you wanted it tighter just the way I had it before, like that, we're going to have to do something a little different. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do this for versions before CS6 when they created the new pattern feature. And then I'll show an example of how you'll do it with the new pattern feature in CS6 and CC. So I'm just going to select this green stripe and we're going to do something a little different. We're going to double click on the selection tool and that's going to bring up our move panel. And what we're going to do is move it down two inches. I'll click on preview so you can see and then we'll hit copy. All right, so we have our stripe down here. Now this is hanging over the edge, so we, we really need to get a piece up here that's going to match up with these stripes right here. So I'm going to select this top stripe, do the same thing, double click selection tool, and this time I'm going to do a minus, and then copy. And that'll put that stripe on top. Okay, now with the way you used to make patterns before CS6, what you would have to do is put a box, and let me just show you what happens if I just drag this into swatches. You see how it's repeating but to the bounds of your artwork? We have this gap in here, we really don't want that. So what I'm going to do is take this blue box, you'll copy it, and this time you're going to do an edit, paste and back. So we have two blue boxes on top of each other. And then I'm going to take that one that's in the back, the one that's selected, and make it transparent. So we have a transparent box that's going to tell Illustrator only repeat what's in this box. Now I'll drag this in to my swatches, and fill, and there we have our tighter chevron. Uh, something I didn't mention, uh, you can use the tilde key again, and this time don't hold the shift key. And you can get different widths for your chevrons. So you can play around with that. Lots of different things you can do. With just a one simple chevron, you can get lots of different variations. Okay, let's say that you want to do something even more different. Let's say that you wanted to do something like this, where you get variations in color. So we're going to need more stripes here. So I'm just going to come back to this, and you can start from scratch, but I'm just going to select my two boxes here, my transparent box and my blue box, and I'm going to go to transform, and I'm going to change this height to 8. And I'm just going to fill the remaining space here with these green stripes. So go back to selection tool, double click that. I'm going to move it down two inches. You can click on preview to see where it's going to go and then hit copy. And I really want one more down there. So I'm going to hit Command D or Control D on Windows. And that will repeat my last step. Okay, now I can change these colors here. Let me go to HSB. This one a little bit lighter. And then this bottom one should be the same exact color as the one on the top, so I'll just take the eyedropper and click on that. Let's change this background just so we get a different color in here. Purple and green, very nice. And I have my transparent box back there, so I'm just going to take all these, bring it into swatches, and it's still using the same transforms that I had on the old pattern, so I can just click one more time to revert that back. All right, so that's something else you can do. Okay, let's do this for CS6 and CC. So I'm going to start from scratch. And again, I'm going to take a rectangle, pick a color, and let's make a box that's four inches by four inches. And then I'm just going to copy this, paste in front, give it a different color, and I'll go to transform and I'll make this one stripe one inch for the height. Okay, so now the different thing that you can do in CS6 and CC is we'll select our stripes here and go up to object, pattern, and then make. So this is really great. So if you haven't seen this feature yet, it's pretty amazing. 
I'm going to do the same thing with this yellow stripe. I'm going to go to Object, Path, Add Anchor Points, Direct Select Tool, click on the top point, the bottom point, and click and drag down. And so you see the repeat building as we make it. And then we're going to do a similar thing. I'm going to take this yellow stripe. I could copy it and drag it down. Um, if smart guides are on, it might snap into place just right. But we want to move it perfectly down. So I'm just going to double click on my selection tool. Again, move it two inches down. Hit copy. And since it's repeating for you, you don't have to create that stripe on the top. You don't have to copy that. And you don't have to put a transparent box on it. All you have to do is hit done. It'll make a swatch for you in your swatches panel. And there you go. All right, so it's as simple as that. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.